The most important reason for the innovation that we celebrate today, uh, and a reason that needs to be repeated uh, again and again, is that it represents an early first step in responding to what is probably the most difficult challenge that the human race has ever collectively had to face. Here we have a company that of its own volition, but also in its own long-term financial interests, has decided that it must cut its emissions and it must use energy more effectively. And what is impressive is that from the first thoughts that they might do this, to implementation of this facility has taken two years. A commercial company tied up with the right technology companies can do things quickly and dramatically. What of course one hopes is that many companies worldwide will follow them and what is more, the government will use the levers in their hands to make sure that it's in the interests of companies to do exactly that, to reduce carbon emissions and to improve the efficient use of energy. Well, if we look back over the last few years, then what is quite clear is that we have just successfully trashed the global economy. We're in the process of trashing the global atmosphere, which is a vital part of our life support system. Governments have been prepared to spend trillions of dollars in putting right the wrongs of bankers and the financial system, and yet their willingness to address what is fundamentally a much more important uh, process, one that will fundamentally influence the lives of our children, our grandchildren, and has the capacity to bring the global economy to its knees in a much more dramatic way than the recent financial crisis. It's one where they're really not giving the focus and leadership they need to give. We are a 